Hi. Ramadan Mubarak to all our Muslim subscribers and viewers. If you didn't subscribe yet, please consider it, it will help us, thank you. Ramadan is a holy month of fasting, introspection, and prayer for Muslims, the followers of Islam. Fasting is one of the five fundamental principles of Islam. Each day during Ramadan, Muslims do not eat or drink from dawn to sunset. Dehydration, low blood sugar levels, and fatigue are all symptoms to guard against during the holy month. Health risks you may face during the holy month of Ramadan. Don't eat or drink anything from sunrise to sunset which can cause severe dehydration, leading to headaches and heat stress. Fasting can often cause severe dehydration, leading to headaches, dizziness, lethargy, fatigue and heat stress. Those living in GCC countries are particularly vulnerable as temperatures can soar to a whopping 38 degrees. Those observing Ramadan in countries with long daylight hours, such as Greenland and Iceland, can equally be at risk as fasting periods can last in excess of 21 hours. Levels. Fasting can further result in low blood sugar levels or hypoglycemia, symptoms of which include confusion, slurred speech and or fainting. Fatigue. Social activities, evening prayer and fasting during Ramadan can all contribute to fatigue which can pose a threat to safety both on the roads and in the workplace and is much covered in the media. Safe. Have your employees stay inside or offer shaded rest during the hottest time of the day. Dehydrated workers are often at a higher risk of exhaustion. So limit physical activity during times of fasting to reduce the risk of injury. Allow your employees the flexibility to start work earlier or later so they can spend this time with their families. Avoid adding additional stress by postponing deadlines and important projects until after Ramadan. Encourage conversations and discussions in the workplace to raise awareness and understanding of Ramadan amongst non-Muslim workers. This will help encourage an inclusive environment and build a positive work culture that accepts different cultures and beliefs. Ensure you provide adequate first aid or medical assistance should anyone feel unwell during work. Allow your employees to take regular breaks to rest and get some fresh air throughout the day. Short bursts of air are proven to increase oxygen in the bloodstream and boost energy levels, helping employees become more productive throughout the day. Encourage other employees to avoid eating or drinking in front of anyone going without. Ramadan. Restructure your working day by shifting intellectually demanding tasks to the morning and routine tasks for later in the day when the effects of fasting begin to creep in. Avoid doing any physically demanding tasks in the afternoon when the temperature is high and your energy levels begin to drop. Take regular breaks. If you feel tired, try going for a walk to get some fresh air and raise your oxygen levels. Maintain open communication with your colleagues and manager so they are aware you are fasting and can support you with your workload or working hours. During Ramadan Whatever time it is, make sure you don't skip your suhoor meal. Ensure your meals are loaded with high-fiber foods such as fruits and vegetables, which are low in saturated fats. If possible, consume two or three smaller meals when non-fasting to avoid the effects of hyperglycemia when too much sugar is present in the bloodstream. Complex carbohydrates like brown rice and wholemeal bread should be consumed at the start of the day. These will help balance your energy levels and keep you feeling fuller for longer. Increase your water intake between iftar and suhoor to 3 liters to decrease the risk of dehydration. Foods such as watermelon, cucumber, celery and tomatoes will also help keep you hydrated with their high water content. Modify the intensity and timing of any exercise taken. Get plenty of rest, an accumulated lack of sleep will affect a person's concentration, focus, and decision-making. Safety Tips During Ramadan Tip number 1. Restructure your working day. It get difficult to maintain concentration throughout the day, so it's best to tackle demanding tasks in the morning while you have energy from your suhoor meal. Shift routine tasks to later in the day when the effects of fasting begin to creep in. 
Exercise in the evening. Avoid doing physical tasks in the afternoon when the temperature is high and your energy levels begin to drop. Instead, exercise later in the evening when you have energy from your after meal and can rehydrate adequately. Take regular breaks. You may find yourself feeling more tired and stressed during your fast. So be kind to yourself and allow yourself more breaks throughout the day. If you feel tired, try going for a walk to get some fresh air and raise your oxygen levels. 4. Talk to your colleagues. Fasting can have a significant impact on your mood and productivity. Maintain open communication with your colleagues and manager so they're aware you're fasting and can support you with your workload or working hours. You could also use the opportunity to raise awareness of the meaning behind Ramadan amongst non-Muslim colleagues to help create a more inclusive work environment. Don't skip meals. Whatever time it is, make sure you don't skip your suhoor meal. Fill yourself up with complex carbohydrates like brown rice and wholemeal bread. These will help balance your energy levels and keep you feeling full longer. 6. Maintain a healthy diet. Eating a well-balanced diet full of vitamins and nutrients will help keep your body and mind strong, give you more energy, and allow for better sleep. Ensure your meals have plenty of fresh fruits, vegetables, and protein. In the morning, opt for complex carbohydrates like whole grain and wholemeal to help regulate your energy throughout the day. Then choose simple carbohydrates which can be broken down quickly to be used as energy during your after meal. 7. Stay hydrated. Increase your water intake to 3 liters between ifter and suhoor to decrease the risk of dehydration. Foods such as watermelon, cucumber, celery, and tomatoes will also help keep you hydrated with their high water content. Get plenty of rest. An accumulated lack of sleep will affect your concentration, focus, and decision making. If you can't get the recommended 8 hours of sleep at night, then make sure you schedule some time to rest during the day. Just 10 to 20 minutes of sleep in the afternoon will help re-energize you, lift your mood, and improve performance for the rest of the day. When the month of Ramadan starts, the gates of heaven are opened and the gates of hell are closed and the devils are chained. Video helps your safety and your team during Ramadan. If you have any questions let us know in the comments section below, we are happy to help you. Check our channel for more safety topics. Ramadan Kareem See you soon. Never forget safety is your responsibility. Stay safe always.